Hello everyone, welcome back to Lynn's Homestead. Beautiful morning, Sunday, I'm all ready for church. But I figured, hey, you know, every morning before I go to church, I always throw my clothes in the washing machine. So I'm kind of donning what I wear to church. Did a lot of work yesterday. I know my uh, subscriber count starting to go down a little bit. That's fine. Uh, today's video, we're going to be working on the stuff. For, to attach the chicken run. Hey, I finally got my clamps in. I got two boxes. And they are, these are the heavy duty. Two hole clamps, they got quarter inch uh, holes. I don't even have to drill it, and they're heavy galvanized. The company that I bought these things from, uh, the price was so much cheaper to go into the big box store. So, what I want to do is protect these. Metal to metal contact means rust. So what we're going to be using is some rust oleum truck bed coating. So I set up a box here. I cut some grooves in it so, so I can put these things upside down into the box so I can put several coats. I'm going to put one coat on before I go to church. And when I get back, change my clothes, which maybe I should have changed my clothes before I come out here, but, you know. So let's get to work. <coughs> so one thing we're going to do is just put these things in here like this. You know, I've never been a very big fan of keeping boxes around because they always seem to attract... Roaches and mice will sit there and hide, hide in the things. But that's nice. This is like playing the game of operation. <laughs> All right. So we are going to just get these things in here. It doesn't matter if they're close together or apart. I really got a good deal on these because I know I was going to need them. Because I have, when I build things, guys, I'm not building this stuff for entertainment. I'm building this. I'm documenting my life. Have any of you ever, you know, you, you tell your buddies or, or let's say you move to a new town. You're telling about all this stuff. And they say, ah, you're just lying. Well, when you make a video and you're in it, and you're doing this stuff, does that make you a liar? Or does that make you, um, you know, it shows that you're telling the truth. You're not lying because it's in video form. Now, you hear also hear about generals writing books, their memoirs, their memories, stuff they did in war. Well, you know, if you kind of do it, in, um, in the form of, uh, let's say, video. Well, there's your proof. This is just an easier way of doing stuff. I used to uh, paint engine parts. I used to do it on a cardboard. And, uh, God, it just makes it so much easier. And for me to make a video on doing this, when I get old and don't know who I am anymore, hey, I can, when I'm sitting there watching TV and YouTube videos, you're like, wow, that looks just like me. I must have done that. I don't remember it. But you know how we're all going to get eventually. Let's just separate these just a little bit. Just so they don't glue themselves together. This to me, this thought just came to me while I was at work. When I get my clamps, I know exactly how I'm going to do it. So let me bring you in a little closer and I'll show you. Alright. So that's 25. So we're just going to make me sure we got this thing shook up really well. And we're just going to... This 
is not like your thick bed liner. And they don't just drip on the inside of the box. It's supposed to leave like a non-skid finish, scratch resistant, rust and corrosion defense. I mean, it just makes, when I see it, I go, you know, this just makes sense. So, I'm going to let this dry when I come back from church. And then, um, off camera, I will be putting uh, another coat on. And I'll just let this stuff dry for next week. Or, in this case, probably Monday or when I'm off Tuesday. I'll have a video on installing the dog count. And we're going to be using these bad boys. See, you got 295 pounds strength pulling out or 250 pounds down. That should be more than enough. And there's 50 of these and there's 50 of those, but I won't even use all these. I always have these for something else. Now, you see... I've used these before, but I wanted lead. I wanted something that wasn't going to rust. They use these for these clamps and electrical. That's what they're for. I've used these to mount an electric box to a block wall in a house that I lived in in Florida. I did that back, oh, about 30 years ago. And I tell you, these work. Now, if you ever want to, say, take them out, you just pull this nail out. You pull this nail out, and this anchor should pluck out of it. If it don't, it's no big deal. It's no big, the nail actually will come out of the hole. So, this is the project, and um, this is to prep for the big one. The head house. That, I got something, uh, I believe it's still up in that box. It's the chicken door. That's going to be a project. Guys, I want to let you know, I've never built any of this stuff before. None of it. So, as a pre-senior citizen, I'm doing this stuff now, so I don't have to pay someone to do it, because it's hard to tell somebody what to do when it's in your mind and not on a piece of paper. That's it, and I'll see you next time.